Welcome to Mailstore Tech Tips. My name is Ron Janssen and today I'd like to show you how to set up a journal archiving method using Mailstore Gateway and Microsoft Office 365. A quick note before we get started, although this video refers to Mailstore Gateway in combination with Mailstore Server. MSPs can get the same results using the Mailstore Service Provider Edition. Companies often run their email solution in Microsoft Office 365. Mailstore provides a suitable means for you to set up a complete archiving method using your own Mailstore gateway. As is the case when archiving local exchange servers, you can choose between different archiving methods. In the case of journal archiving, emails can be archived the moment they are received or sent. With this method, a journal or archiving rule ensures that all emails sent to or received by a recipient are copied additionally to a separate journal mailbox. Unlike with local exchange servers, however, Microsoft limitations mean that if you intend to use this archiving method with Microsoft Office 365, you will need to set up an external mailbox to function as the journal mailbox. Instead of using a journal mailbox from a third-party provider, you can use a mailbox in Mailstore Gateway and do your archiving from there. But before you create the mailbox, you need to install Mailstore Gateway. Download the Mailstore Gateway setup file from the download area of the Mailstore website, execute the file and follow the on-screen guidance. Now choose the language you want to use for the installation, agree to the license and usage conditions, define a destination folder in which to install the software and click on continue. Now click on finish to open the Mailstore Gateway configuration tool which allows administrators to change basic settings and to configure the necessary settings for launching the Mailstore Gateway service. The value in the field email domain is the domain part of the individual email address that is generated for every Mailstore Gateway mailbox. To allow Mailstore Gateway to receive emails from other email servers, for example Microsoft Office 365 or Google G Suite, the email domain you have configured must be DNS resolvable. Here is an example. If the primary domain is called mailstartest.com and you want Mailstore Gateway to be able to receive emails, you will need to create a DNS entry such as test.mailstartest.com in the DNS zone mailstartest.com. The entry must point to the public IP address under which Mailstore Gateway can be reached. Mailstore Gateway uses TLS certificates to set up encrypted communication channels between clients and other servers. The Mailstore Gateway configuration tool allows administrators to specify which certificate is to be used by Mailstore Gateway. Administrators can choose an existing certificate from the certificate memory, create a self-signed certificate or import a certificate from a file. Once you have completed both fields, click on apply and run the service. In order to log into the Mailstore Gateway management console, you will need to open it via port 8450 in a browser. In the password field, enter the corresponding password of the admin user. On initial login, the password is admin. After the initial login, a new, more secure random password is generated automatically by the system. The Mailstore Gateway Management Console is the primary tool used by administrators to manage the Mailstore Gateway and the mailboxes in particular. All you need to do is click on Create Mailbox and enter a name in the Name field. However, do make sure that you keep the password in a safe place as it is not safe by Mailstore Gateway. The password is required to decrypt the contents of the mailbox and if you lose it, there is no means to access the existing contents ever again. A lost password cannot be recovered. Now that you've created a mailbox, let's return to using the gateway itself. Just to recap, the journal emails are going to be forwarded. So, in Microsoft Office 365, the mailbox just created in the gateway is now defined as the target or destination for the emails being forwarded. For its part, Mailser Server will archive these emails. First, in the administrative area of Microsoft Office 365, you need to create a journal rule to produce the copies for the journal mailbox. When you create the journal rule in Microsoft Office 365, 
you must enter the recipient mailbox as follows. Once you've created and stored your journal rule, the rule will be active and, from now on, it will copy all inbound and outbound emails from mailboxes in this Microsoft Office 365 environment to the journal mailbox. In order to get Mailster Server to pull the contents of this journal mailbox, you must now create an archiving profile under Archive Emails. Choose a suitable profile via Email Server, Mailster Gateway Mailbox, Microsoft Exchange Online, Office 365, and incorporate the name of the gateway machine into the profile. The mailbox ID is shown under Details in the browser view of Mailster Gateway, and this value, plus its associated password, must now be entered in the field of the same name in the archiving profile. Click on Test to test the connection to this mailbox in advance. Having been archived successfully, emails should be removed automatically from the Mailster Gateway mailbox in order to preserve storage space in this journal mailbox. Thanks to Mailster Gateway, you can now automatically archive all your inbound and outbound Microsoft Office 365 emails without having to resort to external journal mailboxes, meaning that you retain full control over your business emails. What is more, Direct forwarding of emails to the internal gateway with its strong hybrid encryption provides extra security. We've now come to the end of the tech tip. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you again soon.